Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best out of Samsung keyboard for your Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started. Basically, everything we do on our smartphones involves the keyboard. So let's learn all the tips and tricks that is simply going to enhance your experience. So I'm going to launch up my messages, which is going to bring up the keyboard. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is to enhance your messages using things like stickers. But I'm going to show you guys a different way to access them. Now, let me just type in love. OK, and what's going to happen is on top of my keyboard, there's going to be a window that's going to give me all the available stickers, as you can see. I can scroll through them, choose the one that I want, and then I can send it right over. Okay. Now, to enable this feature, what you want to do is you want to tap on the three dots on the corner, okay, and then you want to tap on the settings. The settings could be in here or it's going to be right there. So I'm going to tap on that one. And what you want to do is you want to tap on smart typing and then tap on this option. Suggest stickers while typing. You tap on this one and you want to enable all these stickers and emojis. But the big thing is you tap on this button here, which says sticker suggestion method. You tap on that one. And as you can see, you can do it above the keyboard or you can do it inside the predictive area. Now, I like to see my stickers, so I keep it above the keyboard. Again, when you do that, OK, anytime you type in here something that is supposed to have a sticker such as hello, the stickers are going to pop up on top of the keyboard and you can access them all you want. So that is fantastic. Let's move on to the next tactic. The next tactic is quite amazing and not a lot of people know or use it. So again, let's go to the keyboard. OK, I'm going to go to my keyboard right here. And basically, let's say you're on any place, you're on a website or maybe you're texting somebody or maybe you're sending out an email. What you can do is if you tap the three dots right here, you have something known as Samsung Pass right there. So when I click on it, it's going to, if you have never set this up, it's going to ask you to set it up. Go ahead and complete the process. And then you can use your fingerprint or your password to log in. So I'm going to log into it right now and look at what we have. We have a complete control panel here that allows me to use quick notes immediately. For example, I made this one as an example. So I'm going to tap here. It says, hey, my name is Saki. What's yours? I also made this one. I can tap here. Hey, how are you? Just want to see what you're up to. And you can also do this one right here. On top of that, I can go to my cards and I can have a credit card in here. Now, all this is going to be secure, so nothing to worry about it. That's why I have to log in with my fingerprint. So you can tap on add a card, add your name, your card number, expiration date, your billing address, and then save it. And when you're on a website about to make a payment, you can quickly access instead of having to type the whole thing over and over again. We all shop a lot. But on top of that, let me just delete the message real quick because I want to show you everything in relation to the Samsung Pass. Uh, tap on this, go to Samsung Pass, log in. Now, at the bottom, we have a little thing. I can go to addresses so I can pre-save my address here. I can have multiple addresses. This one is the one I just saved. I just tap it. It fills it in. It fills my name, the business name, the address, the country, and all that stuff that you need. So if you want to add a brand new address, you just click on plus. You just fill this form up. Once you fill that up and you go into your Samsung Pass, you can access all your addresses right from here. This is just amazing. And you can do the same thing with cards. You can add as many cards as you want. Same with notes. You can go over here and add a note, okay? So you can pick a title, X, and then you can put, put a note. Let's just say X, Y, Z as an example. And now I can use that every time that I want instead of having to retype the whole thing. Let me just delete all this stuff here. Just tap here. Look at that, X, Y, Z. Fantastic. You can also do sign-in information. If you go here, I have all these sign-in informations for these different websites. I can access these from here as well. Beautiful feature. Let's move on. All right, so let's go back into my messages. Again, it could be any application. I'm just using this as an example. Uh, let's say you have something written here and you want to select the whole thing. Now, there's two tips. One of them is if you press and hold the keyboard, it turns into a trackpad and you can precisely put the cursor exactly where you want. That's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is if you press and hold, and then grab the second finger, 
you can select the whole thing as you desire okay so first let me just erase this first press and hold now you have the cursor then press and you can select the whole thing or the portion of the thing as you can see I'm fine tuning that with my fingers and then just delete it cut copy paste whatever you want so this is just a keyboard trick that you probably never used before all right now let's move on to the next tactic the next big thing here is uh, the keyboard translation tool so let's say you're talking to somebody from overseas maybe you met somebody that speaks a different language and you're trying to communicate so let's say you're about to send a message to somebody uh, who speaks Spanish but you don't but you still want to communicate to that person so all you do is again tap this button and pick the translate feature once you pick the translate feature it says enter text to translate so let me just say hi how are you okay and then what you want to do is you want to convert this to Spanish so here we have the source language which is what you're typing and that's gonna be English that's great but then you go to target language and what you do is you scroll down and you pick up Spanish should be somewhere here right there so tap on this one and now when I tap on the translation button at the bottom here on the corner on the right it's gonna translate that and put it into the field in Spanish and then I can send that message over uh, to that person in Spanish they can respond and I can translate that as well their response no problem so that's another amazing little feature let's move on the next thing I want to talk about actually again let's just go in here okay uh, personalizing your keyboard so there's several ways to do it what you want to do is you want to go to your settings then you want to go to style and layout from here there's a bunch of things you can do number one you can pick keyboard themes tap on this one you got the solid which actually is my favorite you got the dark the equivalent of this one but then you got the solid dark which is also even cooler so you have these options on top of that you can also go for a high contrast keyboard which is going to give you even more options you got this 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 and this and if I go back here I can also if I disable this option I have this option available that's size and transparency you tap on this guy you can change the size of the keyboard as you can see okay that is great if you want a bigger keyboard now you got it you can also change the font size on the keyboard look at that I can make them bigger or I can make them smaller everything can be fully tweaked to your needs and finally if I tap on keyboard layout I can actually uh, hide the number so if I tap this the numbers are gone I can access them now from here if I tap this button and of course I can tap here and it's gonna make the alternative characters uh, disappear as well I, I like to keep those but if you like a cleaner look you can go for that as well okay and I like this one also I like to ex have access to my numbers so that's gonna be right there so that's just fantastic right there now let's go back and move on final thing here if you if you launch this and if you go to the keyboard tap on the settings and if you go into your modes all right right there you tap on the modes and what you can enable is if you use your phone with one hand to type you can enable one-handed keyboard now that's gonna make it easier to type with just one hand and you can left or right justify it when you're done go back to full size okay so that's gonna be the modes option right here fantastic now guys if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know and for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video and if you do use Twitter Instagram or Facebook you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well all right, have a fantastic day.